Okay, darling, if you come to Tel Aviv, yeah. get ready because we are going to see all the city because I'm like a fairy. I'm going... Okay, I'll take your word for it. Hi, I'm Seth McFarlane, and welcome to the Peacock at Home Variety Show, benefiting great organizations like AmeriCares, Feeding America, and United Way, all of whom are working very hard to assist those in need during this pandemic. And we want to wish everyone a happy Memorial Day as well. I want to say thank you to the brave men and women who have given their lives to make ours safer. We honor you, we salute you, and we thank you. Well, I'm very happy that you all uh, are enjoying the show. I have received your letters. I have not opened any of them because they could be covered in disease. But rest assured, they're sitting in my yard, and I look forward to spraying them with Lysol if it ever becomes available again. Well, tonight we have a very special guest. This guy is one of my favorite comics. We're thrilled to have him here on the show. Folks, here is Fred Armisen. Hi, I'm Fred. I'd really like to try doing a travel show. Now, I know we can't travel right now, but I thought it wouldn't hurt to do some research. I like visiting places and searching out for what I consider to be the arty part of town. You know, with the cool, weird little shops. Sometimes I explore further into the underground, seeking out a weird band or performance art scene. Where should I go? What's a cool place where I can find something unexpected? And I mean truly unexpected. Maybe I can find some people to talk to about cool places to go. My research starts today. This is an optimistic project. Things may be the way they are right now, but still, I in the future, I hope to have a travel show. They say something about me. I have a constant longing to travel and I'm totally afraid. I am yeah. very much the same. If I was to go to Reykjavik, what's something I can do? Uh, it's all about water. This is where you meet people, this is where you talk mm -hmm. about politics, and walking around the center of Reykjavik with just a bottle of hot chocolate and looking at the old houses that you love. This is just very calm and beautiful. This sounds great, yeah. but... Mm -hmm. Is there some kind of a band or performer that we could go see? I would take you see the Daughters of Reykjavik. It's a group of uh, Icelandic women that thought, why is it, how come it's only men that are rapping in Reykjavik? That sounds perfect. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, hi, how are you? You look great and your place looks great. Thank you, thank you. Your cage as well. Yes. <laughs> Jerusalem and Tel Aviv is just 45 minutes away from each other. Oh, and, that's pretty close. But centuries from each other because when you walk in Jerusalem, you feel all the thousands of years of history. In Tel Aviv, you can feel the freedom to be yourself, whatever, if you are gay, is lesbian, straight, bisexual, everything. You have parties all night long. If it was me, I'd probably just pick one place and then... Okay, I'll darling, see. if you come to Tel Aviv, yeah, get ready because we are going to see all the city because I'm like a fairy. I'm going... Okay, I'll take your word for it. Okay, I'm Alejandro, Alex. My friends call me Alex. I'm 32 years old when I'm not doing like journalism. I'm playing with my band, like touring all over Mexico. Oh, what's the name of your band? It's Chingadaso de Kung Fu. It's like a really hard punch, Kung Fu Chingarazo. punch. Chingadaso. Chingadaso. Um, what's the venue in Mexico City that you would play? There's a venue here in Mexico City called Alicia. It's like the Mexican CBGB. It's like stinky, it's dirty. There's like hot beer, you know? But it's like wow. really, it's really magic because all of the Mexican great bands started there. Man, that it's sounds like Alice. great. I don't know, it's something really exciting happening in Mexico. So it's a good moment to do something over here. What's something that makes you say, um, oh my God, that person is from Tel Aviv? You need to practice all that. <sighs> Uh, ah. What would be very authentic is to talk while you breathe in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can go to a cantina, have a beer, ask for a beer in 
Spanish, like, hey, una chela, like, una chela fría. That's like a cold one, because it has to be cold. Una chela so, fría. You have a word that is like, can uh, mean almost anything. It's yaya. What's that? Yeah, exactly. It can be yaya. So it's like, let's go. Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Yaya. Yeah. No, yaya. Yeah, yeah. It means like, hurry up. Or it can be, yeah, yeah. It means like, <laughs> okay, you, you really f up. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and also, lots of using the <laughs> a huevo, a huevo, a huevo, a huevo. Yeah, 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 yeah. What did you say? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It can also be yeah, yeah. Now you start telling me the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is too good. Well, I can't travel now, but I found some really great resources. Michael Palin, thanks for the inspiration. Thanks for watching, and to learn more, go to peacocktv.com/slash for good.